Now, if I teach it like that, very nicely, very slowly, very clearly to a kid, and he would say, oh, I understood how to subtract. Do you think he understood? Yeah, kids don't even know what understanding a concept looks like. What he understood is a procedure. He doesn't know the necessity of writing the numbers, aligning the place values. He doesn't know why we start from the right. He doesn't know why we can't we start from the left. Now let me ask you, can't we start from the left? As, a, as an international school, uh, we uh, teach our students with many research, uh, new things uh, and um, as a result we uh, invite the specialists of these areas time to time. Uh, so today uh, this uh, lecturer Dr. Gaya uh, came here and uh, we should be highly thankful to her for being here to educate our teachers with new methods, uh, new mathematic uh, ways and methods and all. So uh, I thank Dr. Gaya uh, today. This is, this is a question I ask often from, from teachers. Show me five. So Vinda shows, is showing me this. You are showing me your fingers. No, show me five. What is five? Five itself is an abstract concept. You can show me five fingers. You can show me five objects. But if I remove the object, what is just, what do you mean by five? What is fiveness? That is abstract. Place value chart, if you're using a place value chart, the, the, the strategy used is regrouping. If you are using number bonds, what you are doing is decomposing. That's different. Actually, I'm a grade two class teacher. I'm teaching maths as well in the classroom. Uh, the workshop and the sessions that I have been participating in Dr. Gaya's, actually, it, they were so impressive and we realized what misconceptions that we were undergoing throughout the time and how we should uh, address the children, how we should reach the children and how to approach them with the uh, concrete materials, abstract material and fr through from concrete materials to abstract materials, how we need to get them to feel maths. A main feature that mathematics has as mathematics teachers that we have to be aware of is the abstract nature of mathematics. So if we are not even um, familiar with such a word, right how do we even come to uh, come to learn that mathematics is abstract during today's uh, presentation and all these uh, workshop uh, materials that we had i realized that uh, there are a lot of things that uh, we need to get um, i think uh, there are a lot of misconceptions we had regarding mathematics uh, so all those things were cleared out and uh, uh, most of the uh, new methods that we had to uh, we need to implement uh, during our math sessions math lessons um, I think we learned about it today uh, most of the uh, the parts that uh, uh, she emphasized emphasized today uh, were really helpful so I really want to thank her uh, for giving us uh, actually this is an opportunity to us I think that three and seven makes a ten Okay, they have to know all the number bonds to 10. So when they see 9, 9 and 1 is 10. That's a number bond for 10. Now when I talk about it, it takes a long time and you might think this is a long method. No, you don't, you don't think with words. That happens very fast in your mind. When I explain it, it takes time. Okay?